I spent ages yesterday doing a fancy new lighting setup only to find out that it doesn't really work when I'm doing product reviews. So it's time to put everything back to exactly how it was. And we're back with all of this lovely space to show off the jeans. Hmm. Probably help if I had the jeans though. So, jeans and boots. You see, I think it is long past time that we had an update on a couple of things, three things. Uh, specifically, my TCB 50s Slim, my blue and green 801 Ns, and my pair of Red Wing Pecos that I bought secondhand as kind of an experiment. We're gonna start with the oldest to the newest, so that's gonna be these TCBs. Now guys that have been following me since way, way back in the summertime last year, you're gonna remember that these came as part of a, I can't even call it a fading competition, but it was like a fading experiment between myself, Volvo Sufu over on Instagram, I'm gonna put up his Instagram handle here, and Rio, and he is like the communications right-hand man from Hayimi from TCB. Right, so, the idea behind this was that I was gonna do no wash at all, Rio was gonna wash sometimes, and uh, Volvo was going to wash pretty regularly. It's just a different way that we, we wear our jeans. <sighs> yeah, that's a, it's a fantastic idea, and uh, it'd be really, really interesting to see how the different fades went. Just to skip ahead a little bit, I'm gonna talk a bit more about the fades in detail in a second, but these jeans, they stand a testament to the fact that I really didn't move my lazy ass very much during the summertime because of, not even in the summertime, over the last nine months because of the whole lockdown thing. Really, it's, it's quite, uh, quite astonishing how my lack of movement is really being translated into these jeans. Right, but anyway, the jeans themselves. So I gotta say, these have become one of my, they're definitely my go-to jeans. Uh, for sort of daily use at the moment, and they have become one of my favorite pairs of jeans. There's just something about the, the fit that really works so easily and so well with, with so many things. Through the summer, I was a bit ambitious with it. I thought I was gonna be wearing them every day and just like really power through, even like, even like plus 30, that didn't happen. Nobody should be wearing jeans in plus 30 degrees, I think. My limit is about 28, and then I, I reach for something a little bit, uh, a little bit lighter. Uh, yeah, but on the colder days in the summer, they work really, really well. Pin roll, pair of sneakers, they look great. And then, yeah, transitioning through to the winter time, they work really, really well with a pair of boots, like really super well. They're slightly wider in the waist for me than I, than I probably would have picked. They stretched out a little bit, but more than that in a second. And even though they are a slim tapered fit, the taper is, is quite gentle and with the slightly bigger waist, it means that just the hem, the leg opening, is it works very well with, it even works well over a pair of pecos where you usually need a straight leg. So yeah, for that, they've been very, very versatile. And yeah, I, did, I love that that balance that TCB have managed to get between more of a sort of modern contemporary fitting jean while taking the references from, from the 50s jeans where, yeah, they wanted to take all of the, the aspects of a, a repro pair of Levi's from the 50s and then sort of distill it down into a pair of contemporary jeans. And this fit just stands testament to that, that balance. And, and that means that they've got all of the things that us denim heads really love. So I've made a connection with these jeans in that way. 
And also, I just find them so versatile. Just really, as I said, they're the, they're the jeans I reach for the most often. And plus, they're just, they're extremely comfortable. Like really, this fit is just very, very comfortable. Right, the particulars of the jeans. Uh, the buttons have picked up a little bit of patina, at least the button up in the waistband has. The ones down the fly, I guess they're a bit more protected, so you don't see so much patina on those. Uh, the copper rivets, they have started to pick up a bit of patina as well. The leather patch, the leather patch was already kind of shrunken, distorted and washed down a little bit from the one washing process that happens at the factory. So I've not seen too much change there, it's not really picked up very much patina. It looked cool in the first place, so yeah, that's totally fine. And yeah, okay, so what all you denim heads are probably wondering about the fades. As I said at the beginning, yeah, these stand testament to the fact that really, I was staying pretty locked down in lockdown. And so the fades that are coming out, they're a lot less than I'd have expected after nine months of wear, even though they're in a rotation. But I can see potential and that's the main thing. Like up here in the belt loop, definitely see some fades here, down to the pockets. Seeing some fades like the, the hidden rivets are popping out a little bit tiny little bit over the pockets as well where I keep my keys. Uh, on the front, this is quite nice. We're seeing like a little bit of that slubbiness of the denim and the uneven texture of the denim that's coming through. <sighs> Whiskering is, is very, very light, but also the denim slightly softer. It's not so heavy. So it didn't have the, that Christmas to really get like the the folds that you need for really strong whiskering right away. And the, the looser fit, so I find that these have got plenty of room through the thighs, especially with the waist being slightly bigger. Yeah, so I wasn't expecting too many dramatic whiskering, uh, too much dramatic whiskering. Um, a little bit where I carry my zippos coming off in the coin pocket. About this coin pocket, by the way, uh, this is actually the only coin pocket that I find useful for carrying other things than just my lighter. It's quite big and you can actually access it, which is great. Uh, some fading around the pockets. Nothing to speak of with my phone. Um, down here in the crotch, where usually you see quite a lot of fading, right? Uh, that's... That's just starting to, to pop out. We're getting that kind of electric blue color that you get, it's like pre-fades. So I'm a bit surprised about that. Okay, over onto the, the back of the knees where we're gonna find the honeycombs. This is where I'm seeing the most pronounced fading possibilities. But yeah, really, not, again, not so much, not so much yet, but definitely good potential. Down at the hem. I wear these, I think I pretty much wear them all the time, unless I've got the pecos on, which are quite recent. I wear them all the time with a pin roll, and so I really don't expect to see much fading or much roping going on here, but it's got a really, really lovely roping texture. Maybe I should actually wear that exposed a bit more often. Right, to sum up, um, my favorite jeans at the moment, or my, my most worn jeans at the moment, even though I've got the blue and greens and a pair of um, 316 220Xs, so that's the double black, even though I've got those in rotation, I find myself wearing these the most. Uh, it's because I love the fit, they're an easy jean to wear, they go with absolutely everything. Would I change anything? Yeah, the only thing I would change is I would size down one size in the waist because I found that this denim stretched out quite a lot after the one wash process and yeah I could do with I could do with one size down but other than that like absolutely adore this pair of jeans and yeah I really have to check in with Rio and with Volvo to see how they're getting on with theirs okay that's them on to the blue and greens I know I said that these are my favorites, but so are these. Um, I, I'm, it's not that I'm fickle, I just I have a lot of love for jeans in my heart, because also I really I really love the, um, the 316s I'm wearing just now. I'll do a review on those soon, and then, yeah, 
I've not had them for that long, but they're worth talking about, really. Anyway, to get back to these blue and greens, they're, they're also my favourites. I, I just, I've connected with these jeans in a very different way than I connected with these ones. And I can't really say why that is. I think it is something to do with the, with the fit. I find that these are more everyday, and I reach for these jeans when I'm looking for something a bit smarter. These I can wear really well with sneakers or boots or whatever. These I, I wear with, um, with my fancier shoes, with my trickers, with brogues. And I think that is to do with the fact that they're a bit slimmer. They've got a really great silhouette. And they're a bit higher in the waist as well. So they just look better with that sort of, that kind of vibe. How have they faded in? Okay, again, I've been wearing them a lot less time than the TCBs. And so I'm seeing a lot less fading on these than I am even on, on the TCBs. A little bit up at the belt loop. Uh, there's not really any patina going on in the button or the button flies. Not yet anyway, but I think we've got potential for that. The copper rivets, okay, they're seeing more patina than anything else. Tiny little bit of a fade popping out with with me keeping my lighter in the coin pocket. No whiskering to speak of. Tiny little bit of fade potential down in the, in the crotch. Again, it's that sort of lightning blue that you get. Over on the back pockets, really nothing much. Same with the leather patch. Uh, it would have shrunk down a little bit in the one wash and so haven't seen very much change there. Down at the hem, uh, down at the hem, yeah, not too much. It's it's really for, I think I've worn these for four months and I was wearing them a bit more often than the TCBs over winter because they are a bit heavier and um, so therefore a bit warmer. Yeah, but I would have expected to see a lot more fading coming out, but yeah, into the second lockdown, can't even really go around the city on my bike, so that's me even more limited to movement. It just is what it is. These, these days, things are taking a lot more time to fade. Yeah, these, these just come from a different place. Um, and I don't mean literally. I just think that the mindset when designing and making these jeans were quite different from making the TCVs. And so I've connected with them in a different way and I find value in them in a different way. They've still got all of the things that the denim heads will love. They've got like really amazingly great denim. They're really extremely well made. Hardware is very, very solid. They've got the great geeky details like the hidden rivets. They've got the chain stitched hem as well. Uh, yeah, really an amazing pair of jeans and I'm looking forward to seeing how they fade in, especially cause they are, they're natural indigo. So I'm looking forward to seeing the difference of the sort of, the red cast, underlying red cast on the TCBs and the underlying green cast that is gonna be on these natural indigo blue and greens. Actually, just putting these next to each other. Yeah, okay, the, the TCBs have, have faded down or worn down a little bit more than, than I would have thought because I think that they were quite similar to the, the blue and greens when I first got them in tone. That's interesting because I actually haven't put them, put them together until now. Right, so that's the TCBs, that's the blue and greens. Now to the red wings. The whole point, the whole point of doing the, the, the previous Red Wing video, link up in corners, um, the whole point of doing that was to see if it was worth it for me to buy a pair of Red Wing boots second hand. Because generally you shouldn't. The Red Wings, uh, the footbed has a, a very, very thick piece of leather over a cork insole or a cork filling and over time and wear your your specific foot shape like beds into it and also with the leather around about it like uh, the boot itself it's going to flex where your toe flexes it's going to flex where your ankle flexes and therefore it's going to become your boot and your boot alone so buying a pair of second hand that boot will have broken in somebody else's foot shape and it's just not going to fit you i got these 
primarily because I couldn't find a pair of brown pecos uh, to buy new and I really wanted a pair. And I found these that were one size bigger in length and half a size bigger in width. And that was working for me because I wanted to put in my, my insoles. So I wanted to put these in. It's kind of gross, I probably should have. I'll just hide that back. Anyway, I wanted to put insoles in. Uh, they're orthopedic insoles. Um, I spent way too much time on my feet through my life. Probably too much time on my arse as well. But anyway, I was noticing the difference of not wearing orthopedic insoles and all my other red wings were a bit tight. Um, the, the initial idea, so I'll be back in one second. The initial idea was to, I'm so well prepared today, and I'm just doing this in one take. Usually I do many takes and get very frustrated, but I'm just running with this one. Yeah, the initial idea was to put in these ones, which are, I don't know, three quarter insoles. So you've got like a little bit more room for your toes. Uh, they, they fitted in fine, they didn't slip around at all, but I was, I was feeling the other dudes, the, the previous owners, I was feeling his, his like toe dimples, like when I put them on, and was just, I didn't even make it outside. I was just walking around the flat as I was about to go outside, and I'm like, ew, this is gross. So I, I took these ones out, and I put the other gross ones in these ones. Um, these are the ones that I've got for my sports shoes. I, I put those in instead. How does my girlfriend manage to lose so much hair and not be bald? Yeah, so I put the ones from my sports shoes into these boots. Uh, and yeah, because of that, because I've got the more room to put the insoles in, um, they, they're an extremely comfortable, like extremely comfortable pair of boots. Would I recommend that you buy a pair of Red Wings secondhand? Still, still no. Um, even even I, I think this has been a positive experience for me. If it wasn't for the fact that I, I had these insoles to put in, then I don't think I would be able to wear them. The other dude's feet were just very, very different from mine. In the comments in the last video, it did say that um, other some other guys that were watching that, they've had positive experiences, even if the, the footbed's been worn in. It, with time and wear, it will wear into your own foot and it will adjust. But I did see a video by Rose Anvil, a uh, link somewhere, um, description or corners, where they took apart a very well-worn pair of, of Red Wings and they showed the footbed and they showed the, the cork filler underneath. And yet, there's only so much malleability that the, the cork and the, the leather has. So yeah, it's, it's, it was a bit of a gamble. It paid off for me. I'd hope it's paid off for you if you are going to do it. But yeah, that was, that was my experience with this. I probably won't be looking to buy secondhand Red Wings again unless it's something very, very particular. Okay, that's the roundup. I've been talking pretty much constantly for 20 minutes. Somebody was complaining that my videos were too long, so I, I guess he's already stepped off by now. Mm. Um, okay, guys, I, I suppose I'll have to do a roundup on the Benzac uh, Super Fade Denim Sherpa jacket, but I want to be wearing that for a bit longer. What else do I need to do roundups on uh, or updates? Hmm. Can't remember right now. Anyway, I hope you've enjoyed this video. Uh, if you have enjoyed this video, if you could hit that thumbs up button, that really helps out the channel. It really, really does. Uh, there's also the subscribe button. If you've given it the thumbs up, you may as well subscribe because I guess you like what we're doing. That'd be great. Next up, there's the bell notification icon. Hit that and then you're going to be notified when I do another update video, for example. That just leaves me to say, as always guys, I hope everyone is happy and healthy out there. I hope you're taking care of yourselves. I hope you're taking care of each other and I'm gonna see you in the next video.